And what if I told you I fine tuned a 30 billion parameter model for less than the price of a coffee? Today, I am showing you Tinker. It is a training API that handles the heavy lifting. We are going to grab some free credits, set it up, and build a prompt distillation pipeline from scratch to train a model for 62 cents. So what exactly is Tinker? It is not a black box API where you just upload a CSV and hope for the best. It is an abstraction layer for PyTorch. You write the training loop in Python on your machine. You define the data, the loss function, and the optimization steps just like you would locally. But when you run functions like forward backward or optim step, Tinker executes that computation on their massive GPU cluster and sends the results back to you. It supports huge models like the Quinn 230 5B MoE and Llama 70B using low rank adaptation. To keep things efficient to get started, you need an API key. Tinker is currently in a waitlist phase, but here is the good news. If you get in, they give you $150 in credits. That is plenty of compute to run the experiments I am showing you today. Once you have your key, we are using UV to manage the environment. First, create the virtual NV Tinker, activate it, source Tinker slash bin slash activate, then install the library, UV pip install Tinker. Next, export your key, git clone Tinker cookbook install dash E dot. Now we have the environment ready. Today we are doing prompt distillation. This is a powerful technique where we take a teacher model to generate high quality data and train a smaller student model to learn that behavior. The goal is to build a language classifier. The original recipe uses a Quen model as the teacher, but I want higher quality data. So I am modifying createData.py I switched the base model to the OpenAI JPTO S120B model. This is a massive reasoning capable model. Because I changed the model, I also had to update the renderer. This tells the API how to format the prompt for this specific architecture. I checked the docs and found the tag, so we slot that in here. We'll run the generation script, and here is the result. This file explains exactly how distillation works. Look at this first example. User, we were watching something on TV, assistant N. To get this answer, the teacher model, the 120 billion one, read a massive complex system prompt that explained the rules of linguistics and language classification. It did a lot of heavy lifting to output N. But look at the JSON. The student does not see that complex system prompt. It only sees the input sentence and the final answer N. We are training the student to look at the sentence without needing the massive instructions or the 120 billion parameters. That is the power of distillation. Now we configure the student, opentrain.py. Here is the most important line. We are not training a tiny toy model here. We are fine tuning a 30 billion parameter active mo mixture of experts model. Below that, we define how we train it. We set the learning rate to 1 E minus 4. We set the lower rank to 32. And we point file path to the JSON L dataset we just created. At the bottom, the script passes this config into train.main. That imports the prey built training logic from the cookbook so we do not have to write the PyTorch loop manually. Actually, quick side story. I am using the new Gemini 3 Pro Preview to help me structure these scripts. I fed it the Tinker docs and this code base. When we got to this file, Gemini confidently told me inside the training loop, it calls forward backward. This is the key function. I looked at my editor and thought, am I blind? There is no training loop in this file. It is just a config wrapper. The actual logic is hidden inside the library imports. Because Gemini knows how Tinker works conceptually, it just hallucinated the code it expected to see rather than 
reading the file I actually gave it. It is a good reminder. These tools are powerful, but always check the code. Okay, let us run the training. Watch the logs here. We start at a high loss, around 23, but over just 63 steps, it plummets down to 0 0.009. The modal is absorbing that distilled data perfectly. But here is the crazy part. Let us look at the bill. I went to the Tinker console to check the usage. For the data generation, running that massive 120 billion parameter GPT model for 2.4 million tokens, it cost me 56 cents. And for the fine tuning itself, updating the weights of a 30 billion parameter Quen model, processing nearly 3 million tokens. 62 cents? That is not a typo, 62 cents. I have a custom tuned 30 billion model trained on distributed GPUs, and the whole experiment cost me about a dollar. Once the run is done, your checkpoints are right here in the console, ready to be downloaded or served. The fact that I can run this logic from a simple Python script on my laptop while Tinker handles the massive compute for pennies is a game changer. Next time, we are taking this efficiency and applying it to reinforcement learning. Subscribe so you do not miss it. Thanks for watching.